Welcome to Real Filmmaking, my name is Corey, and today I'm going to show you how to install CineStyle on your Canon DSLR or mirrorless camera. So essentially whenever you're shooting with your camera, whatever picture style you set your camera on affects some of the footage that you get in post. So standard looks different from neutral, which looks different from CineStyle. CineStyle is a picture style you can go and get from Technicolor's website, I'll put a link in the description. But essentially it is a picture style that gives you a very flat image, which is very helpful when you're working in post-production and you're trying to give your image a certain look, or maybe you want to apply like a LUT to some of your footage to make it look a specific way. CineStyle is very helpful for doing that. CineStyle is also really helpful if you're shooting like a high contrast scene and you want to save shadows and highlights. CineStyle, when you shoot with it, kind of balances them all out and it helps you to retain the most data possible between the shadows and the highlights. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you how to get this set up. And the only things that you'll need are your camera and a USB cable to connect your camera to your computer. So let's go. So the things that you'll need to install CineStyle are your camera and a USB cable. Most cameras come with a USB cable. If not, you can pick one up for really cheap someplace. Now, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is pull up the Technicolor CineStyle website, which is you can go to technicolor.com uh, slash CineStyle. And then you're also going to want to go to the Canon website um, and search for EOS Utility is the easiest way to find it. And you're going to want to select your make of camera. They have a whole list here. I'm using the Canon 60D. I would click on the 60D. It's going to load, it's going to give me the different things that I can download for the camera. So different drivers, different other things. But what you are looking for is the EOS Utility app. So this one for the 60D is the EOS Utility 2.1431C um, for Mac, because I have a Mac, and you're going to click on that and download that. And so once you get that downloaded, before we do anything, we're going to go over to the Technicolor um, website and if you type in technicolor.com slash CineStyle it will bring you to the download page where they kind of just give you a description about what CineStyle is show you some comparisons and if you click the download CineStyle you can download it you can put in some of your personal information and then you have the file so next we're gonna want to take our camera and our USB cable and hook them up to our computer um, after we've installed the EOS utility, power it on. Make sure that you are in the manual photo mode. That's going to be important here. So you turn it on, your EOS utility should launch after you've installed it. And we're going to want to go to camera settings, remote shooting. So click that. And then you're brought to this menu that allows you to control the camera remotely from your computer via the USB cable. But what we need is we need to go here under the shooting menu and make sure that you have clicked on the camera icon and you're going to want to click on picture style. So here you have the different styles, but you can click on the user defined styles. Once you click that, you can hit register user defined style. So now in the user defined styles, you can look for the specific file type that shows up to load a picture style. So if we go here and we open up the Technicolor Cine style file that we just downloaded, you've got like a PDF and some other stuff. You can click the Cine style right here, hit open, and it will set your user defined whatever one, I have two right here, to Cine style. You hit OK. And now it says it's registered as user defined style two. So now that I've done that, you can see that my user defined style is registered as Cine style. So when I turn on my camera, if I unplug it, and as you can see, the camera has loaded Cine style, and now you can go out and start shooting with it. Boom, there you go, now you got Cine style. So I hope this video has been helpful in showing you the process of how to get Cine style onto your camera. And now you can go out and shoot and get some footage and kind of tweak it exactly how you want it. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Real Filmmaking for more content like this coming on a weekly basis. Cover storytelling, creative process, filmmaking, cameras. And until next time, keep making movies and watching movies. And I'll see you on Real Filmmaking.